Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is James and today we are going to talk about the OCG7 3000 nits ultra bright monitor after one month of extensive use review. So I have been hunting for a 7 inch workhorse and I finally found it and here are the 8 things I love about this monitor so let's talk about it. So 1. 3000 nits. I can use this in super bright sunny days outdoors without the need of a sun hood but guess what? It comes with a sun hood and it's so quick to install. Uh, crystal clear imagery with great contrast ratio. Uh, very accurate colors too. Uh, when I use this uh, indoors, I can crank the level down to uh, 5 um, in the brightness on the monitor. And if I want to go outdoors, I can go 10. And number two is the weight. It's amazing how lightweight this monitor is and it's great for me because it's keeping my my, my zcam e2 setup light when i go run and gun uh, number three um, connections the g7 has both sdi and hdmi connections which is very robust as i can use this on my uh, fs5 if i need to uh, on my e2 i use the hdmi in and out for my wireless uh, video transmitter the only con uh, is for me is there's no cross conversion. Uh, maybe down the line they'll probably implement that. Um, I also love how the ports are, you know, not below or on the side of the monitor, but it's in the back side. Number four, SD card slot for uh, LUT preview. Um, that's awesome. Uh, since I mainly use Zlog2 and Slog2 uh, for my picture profile, um, it is a must for me to be able to apply a LUT on this monitor. Uh, it's awesome that you can store 16 LUTs in the system in 17, 33, and 65 cubes. It also comes with 33 built-in D-Log LUTs. Uh, just in case you need that Rec.79 look right away out of the box. So it's there for you to access. Uh, number 5, build quality. Um, although I mentioned this is lightweight, uh, the housing is made of a polycarbonate plastic. It is very strong plastic, yet it retains its lightweight factor. So tools, wow, tons of tools, very essential tools for, for checking your image. Uh, it has crosshatch, multiple false colors uh, to choose from. Uh, we got zebra, focus assist, waveform, vector scope, histogram, etc, etc. And the beauty about this is, we'll talk about it now for number seven, uh, it's the pages style interface. And I love this because I can assign different tools on each page. I can also combine tools in one page if I really need it, you know. Uh, the operating system is very responsive and quick. Uh, the beauty about this monitor is the joystick. I hate fingerprints on my monitor. You know, when you're, when you're swiping, you get smudges and you have to wipe it. Um, so, you know, I really prefer using the joystick rather than getting smudges on the screen because you're swiping with your um, fingers if it was a touch screen. Number eight, price. Uh, for a thousand bucks, I would say this is really priced well for what it can do and for its build quality. Uh, I also would like to point out that the price is three times cheaper than the very popular expensive brand out there that has the same features and you know the monitor I'm talking about. But remember guys, we also have the OC-T7 monitor. So the T7 monitor only has the HDMI in and out. It doesn't have the SDI like the G7. So that'll be about 500 bucks, I think it's half price of the G7. So if you're looking for 3000 nits, uh, same features as the G7, then the T7 is for you. In fact, I have the T7 as well, and it performs just as good as the G7. So that's it guys for me, and thank you for watching. Hope you subscribe, and I'll see you soon.